It's been a while since I did a Persona 4 Arena video, but since, you know, since recently the whole Persona 4 Ultimate Ultra Suplex Hold uh, was announced uh, coming out next year, I figured, you know what, let me do some videos again, and I'm going to do arcade mode like I did with Akahiko, but this time I'm doing with Yu Narukami, and then right after this, Kanji Tatsumi. Um, but I actually wanted to talk about some stuff in this one, because, you know, stuff about that trailer that came out um, seemed a little little far-fetched not far-fetched it's more crazy than anything because like that red-haired new guy i'm pretty sure he's probably like an evil form of yunarukami like it's really similar like oh my god similar that and at the end they showed this like shadowy figure and i'm pretty sure we know who it is but my guess i'm gonna say because for all i know i could be totally wrong but it's probably adachi it looks a lot like Adachi, and I'm pretty sure that was his Japanese voice. So, you know, it wouldn't be too weird for Adachi to come back, because he is still angry at the whole investigation team. So, that'd be cool. But the one thing I'm confused about, if I was right about this red-haired dude being like an evil form or evil entity version of Yunarukami, how does that work out? How does that really work at all? Because you never, I, maybe because you never went against his shadow, so maybe like this is like his his shadow type deal. But I, I'm just fascinated by it. It could be anything, and it's just so cool and something new. Like they haven't really done something like this in a while, so it's really making me think. Like with the whole like Persona Q thing, that makes me think as well. Cause you know, how do some characters get there, and how do they, like, it's 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 a weird thing. But this one is making me think the hardest, because I'm more interested in Persona Four. I mean, I love Persona Three. I've beaten it so many times. I love Persona Three so much. That's why when I heard Junpei and and Ikari were gonna be in the next uh, Persona 4 arena, I was like, yes! Yes! And then I saw Ikari wearing like a Power Ranger outfit, I was like, oh! Uh, what's happening? This isn't cool. And Junpei, I'm guessing maybe he's a baseball player now? I mean, he didn't really have this whole sporty thing about him back in Persona 3. Like, if anything, he talked about games a few times, so I figure he's more of a gamer. So, seeing him with a baseball bat and this whole, like, baseball uniform, it's, it's, a, it's a little weird. Um, but they'll probably fit it in somehow and be like, hey, well, I like it now, you know, ta-ta! Um, but it's, it's definitely something I'm really looking forward to because I didn't think I'd like Persona 4 Arena that much, and then I played it, and I, I love it so much. Oh, also, I'm playing this one on PS4 now because I play my PS4 a little bit more. So I just re like I, I'm borrowing it for PS4 and I'm just gonna be playing that for a while. Um, I actually was gonna do some online battles like I used to, but uh, something's up with my internet, so all battles are laggy. Like if I finished them, like I did a f like one or two, and I won both of them. But like, it's I like have like I want to start if I'm doing online matches, maybe like three battles per video because battles are kind of short. So that would be the main thing. But back onto the the sequel, I want to know, like, I don't see Labrys in it at all. And this whole this one was about Labrys and how like she was this tormented character and how she was just a very sad, sad, sad person. And it's all like, wow, I'm happy again at the end. And then it's like, yeah, we're gonna work together. And this next one, it's like, what happened, Akihiko? Mitsuru and I guess are on like crosses and I'm like, okay, what's um what's going on here? I'd like to know. Like give me some some context cuz right now I don't really know uh, what's going on and I'd really enjoy it to uh, to know. But um it's it's so like I like it because it's making me wonder so much. Like not even the Persona 5 trailer made me wonder that much. I'm like because all it is is you see a chair then another chair, and then there's like a ball and chain around the, one of the legs. And it's like, alright, this is this isn't really telling me much, but at the same time, it's making me excited. Like, I am so pumped for Persona 5, but they haven't really told much of anything about it. So right now, that's like on my back burner. 
while I look more into like Persona 4, uh, Ultimate Ultra, Suplex Hold, and Persona Q, and even <laughs> Persona 4 Dance All Night. I'm actually interested in that one because the music in Persona 4, if you watch my top 10 video, I said that I really, really love the music in Persona 4. And they're like dance remixes now, I guess. And I'm actually really looking forward to that because that might actually be really cool. So it's definitely something to look forward to. And Persona Q, I don't think they're going to have like the social link aspect into it. I think it's going to be like a straight up dungeon crawler. But that's probably not a bad thing because the whole game changes as you add different characters to your uh, to your team so it's one of those games that I'll probably want to beat again and again and again to see different endings or different ways uh, characters react with each other because uh, I really loved Minato from the first Persona 3 and I know they changed his name in the new Persona 3 movie to Makoto um, and it's not a bad name it's actually not that big of a change Minato to Makoto so um, it's not bad. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's not like, like, I'm pretty sure, uh, Yu Narukami's original name was Saito, so it's not like they haven't done it before, but, um, I know a few people are actually a little bit upset about it, so, um, it's gonna happen, they'll probably call him Makoto, even in Persona Q, so it's not like it's, hey, it's a new thing, blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, it's it's definitely really cool and something to think about, and I just got a trophy for being perfect. But uh, yeah, thank you again for watching. Please tell your friends, family, we're got the office about us. Subscribe, and you guys have a great day. Thanks again for watching.